Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I am super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon in Sarge green clear coat. Yes, one of the best looking colors on the 2024 Wrangler, in my opinion. Uh, we've had a couple other 35 inch extreme tire and wheel group Rub Rubicons on our lot. We've had them in hydro blue, we've had them in white, and we've had them in the uh, new anvil color. And I gotta say, this green one has really got a lot of attention while it's been on our lot. And anyways, I thought I'd do a video on it, show everybody just how good this one looks, go over all the options that the 35 inch tire and wheel group gives you, as well as show you the uh, steel bumper and winch group, which this one has. It's a $3,495 option. Remember, if you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, it's in the upper right hand part of the screen. And then click those bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Let's get right into it. As you can see, this one has the LED headlamps. I'm gonna turn those on at the end of the video, so stick around for that. We're not too far away. Uh, but starting off here with the steel bumper and winch group, note that you get the full metal bumper here. And from the factory, this one came off of the truck with an 8,000 pound worn winch. So uh, they are now offering the winch from the factory that is a synthetic rope there. So it's not steel. Uh, it is, you get the red tow hooks on there, the LED fog lamps, the LED running lights, the LED headlights and halo running lights there are all standard now on the Rubicon package, as well as the Sahara package and the uh, Willis package as well. And the only ones that you do not get the LED lights standard on are the Sport, which are not available, and the Sport S, which is an option to get the headlight and fog light group. Anyways, uh, the other thing new for 2024 is that this grill has shrunk down a little bit. It used to be a lot taller. They've narrowed it down as well as the uh, center uh, grill pieces there. So that is shorter, but it, it's actually still the same size. They just made the painted part a little bit shorter and that's pretty cool. Notice the granite crystal inserts on that grill and headlight bezels there as well. The Rubicon package gives you the sport hood too. You also get the Rubicon decals on the side of that hood. They're black outlined in red. And you may have noticed that this one does have the 35 inch tire and wheel group. And there's a lot of things that come with that group which aren't on the window sticker, so I'll go over them a little bit here. You get the 17 inch painted and polished aluminum wheels. New for 2024 are the center caps as well as the wheel designs are all new for 2024. BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAKO2 tires. These are LT31570 R17s. Get a good look at that tread pattern there. The other thing that's different on the 35 inch tire and wheel group is you get a lift from the factory. Uh, the sway bar is one inch bigger and the spring is one inch bigger. And combine that with the different tire size. And this one sits about two inches taller than a standard Rubicon Wrangler. So about two inches taller. They say an inch and a half lift. Well, with the tires and the actual suspension, it's about two inches. Also with the extreme tire and wheel group, you get these extended fender flares and they do that so that you can see if your tires were sticking out too far, that would not be legal in a lot of states. So they have to have that on there. And the other thing, you get the sandals and that's nothing new. Uh, you get the Wrangler or the Jeep climbing up the side there. That's not new either. But what is new is there's no antenna. Uh, that has been removed on all the Wranglers. Uh, instead, there is a second trail rated badge. And the antenna is now in the windshield. So that orange thing right there, that is actually the antenna. And all these windows on the Rubicons and Saharas and Sport S's are now Corning Gorilla Glass. You get the T50 on the doors, so you can still take those doors off the same way that you always could. And you get the rock rails on the bottom part of that Rubicon package. This one does have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. And this one has been 
um, calibrated for the tire and wheel group. So it gets you 19 miles per gallon highway, 16 city, and 17 average. Here's the original window sticker. If you feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything here, but most of it. Uh, starting off with the exterior color, Sarge Green Clear Coat, black interior. Now, I think it's charcoal. You can tell me in the comments below what you think if it's black or charcoal. I think it's charcoal gray. But anyways, they call it black. 3.6 liter, 8 speed auto. Everything is your standard equipment here. So one thing to know new for 2024 is the Dana M220 wide full floating rear axle. So that gives you the ability to have a 5,000 pound tow capacity if you have the 410 gears, which Rubicons do standard. However, what it doesn't tell you on this window sticker is that the extreme 35 inch tire and wheel package gives you the 45, 456 gears. So this one cannot tow up to 5,000 pounds. You cannot get the 5,000 pound towing with the extreme 35 inch tire and wheel package because you get those 456 gears. So one thing to note there, I don't know why Jeep doesn't put it on the window stickers. Um, maybe they should so that everybody's not confused. Anyways, uh, the Uconnect 5 with the 12.3 inch touchscreen is now the standard radio on all the Wranglers. Has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Sirius XM, and everything right there is also your standard equipment. Sarge Green is the exterior paint color, and that is a $595 option. Steel bumper and winch group is $3,495, so you get the worn winch and the front and rear steel bumpers. Extreme 35 inch tire package is $39.95. Now that doesn't tell you everything that you get because it gives you more than just the wheels and tires and hinge gate reinforcement. It gives you those fender flare extensions, the 456 gears, bigger brakes, the upgraded suspension. It also gives you the um, extensions on the tail lamps and everything. So we'll go through the rest of that. Uh, convenience group, which is 995, that's a pretty good value. It gives you heated seats, heated steering wheel and remote start, eight speed automatic transmission. Yes, it's a $4,500 upgrade, but it gives you select speed control and it also gives you adaptive cruise control with stop. So uh, that adaptive cruise control is a pretty nice uh, safety feature to have. Has the black three-piece hard top, $1,495, and total MSRP is $66,265. If you want to get your summer price on this vehicle, in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website. Also linked in the description below is a link to our website to get all the rebates and incentives and availability on this particular Jeep Wrangler. 3 year 36 bumper to bumper, 5 year 60 powertrain, and once again there's the miles per gallon and fuel economy and greenhouse gas rating and smog rating, and then it's not really rated for safety ratings except rollover, uh, which is 3 stars, probably because it is a convertible. So like I said, it comes with the sport brakes, the extreme 35 inch wheel group, and the only way to tell visually is these back brakes have these like little notches in them. And I'm not sure if that's for heat dissipation or what it, exactly it's for, but all the ones that have the extreme recon or extreme tire and wheel group have those style brake rotors. And uh, those are the upgraded brakes for this vehicle, probably because the tires and wheels are so much bigger, it's harder to stop them. And uh, you need that upgraded brake package. The other thing is the light extensions. So if you can see right here, all these extreme tire and wheel groups have the Ralph on the side. That's a little dog right there for the right side. And a Louie on the left, he's a bulldog. And uh, these are exactly one inch bringing the lights back and they're just basically a filler in there. But I'm guessing because the tire is wider and it sticks out farther, you also have an extension on the uh, backup camera as well. But my guess is because this is wider and that's wider, there's some law that says the lights have to be so far away from the back of the tire or the back of the absolute back of the vehicle. Um, otherwise, they won't be functional or illegal, if you will. Here's the towing package, the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. You also get the red shocks with the Rubicon package, red tow hook on the back, LED tail lamps, LED license plate lights, and uh, let's take a look inside back here. There is your case for the front hardtop pieces. And 
So you can take off the front hard top pieces. You can also take off this back hard top piece. Note that these bars are color matched to the vehicle. So when you do have that top off, it matches really nice with the rest of the body color of the vehicle. And uh, like I said, there's three bolts on the bottom, one on top. So four bolts on each side, eight total, and then two quick disconnects here uh, to take that hard top off. We had a video on how to take your hard top off of your JL Wrangler. You can check that out in the description below and in the upper right hand part of the screen. The only thing that's different on the 2024 is where you place these quick disconnects. And uh, there's a little panel right here that pops off. And you can see there's where your electrical would go. Let me light it up here. That's where your electrical plugs into and that's where your windshield washer fluid uh, hose sticks into. And that just keeps them a little bit more secure. I'm sure people, there used to be like a holder right here. I'm sure people were breaking those off. And I actually was asked a couple times what that part number was because people had broken them off and they couldn't find the, that part number. And I don't think there was a part number on them, to be honest. Uh, anyways, you get a storage area back here. It does have a drain. Uh, in case it gets wet with the top off, you can drain that. And then here's your winch controller. So that's pretty nice. There's also some straps on there. And then you have holders for your roof, windshield, and door hinge bolts back here too. You get these seven slotted tailgate cover, I guess you could say. And uh, then you also have the, the G, I'm sorry, the JL badge. Two door, four door wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording on there, where it's built and where it's developed in. So that's pretty cool. And you can kind of get a good look at that heavy duty hinge gate reinforcement there. Shuts nice and easily. You get the black fuel filler door and same trail rated badge on the driver's side, as well as the Jeep lettering there. Show you the back seats real quick. So they go down pretty nice and flat when there's not stuff underneath here. Let's, oh, this must be, this is your front license plate cover. So that comes with the vehicle. We'll put that back there for now. Anyways, these seats do fold down and they go down almost completely flat. And uh, there's a lot more room there. They don't rub on the back of the front seats anymore. Also, is that these headrests stay down when the seats are in upright position for better visibility if nobody's riding back here, of course. You do get latch child safety system for any child car seats you may want to put back here. You also get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 150 watt power point. Plug it. Factory floor mats back here, two cup holders. You'll notice that what is different up here is that there used to be a center stack of lights. Now the lights are more individualized to the riders and there's two lights right there as well those are leds though nice and bright you also get the speakers are in a little bit different configuration there and i'm guessing that's because they put side curtain airbags in the 2024 wranglers now and you can see right there it says side curtain or it says airbag they put those in the bars up there now so i'm sure they had to redesign a bunch of stuff to accommodate for those. And that's why you get the lights in different spots and such. And then you have the child safety locks on the back doors, enter and go system. Now, you can't tell me that's black. That's, that's charcoal, that's like gray. It's like a dark gray, it's not black. Steering wheel is black, that's charcoal. Anyways, Rubicon stitched into the backrest. You get the red stitching on the seats. Not that I don't like it. I, I like the seats. I like how they look. I like the material. It feels really durable. Um, it's just not black. Anyway, seat height adjuster, adjuster. These are manual seats. To get the power seats, you got to get leather on the Wrangler. Uh, and then you have your lumbar adjust right there. Factory floor mat in the front. New for 2024 is this little badge with the Wrangler and Gladiator back-to-back -back auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel. Also new for 2024 is the dash material. Uh, some of them now come with cloth. This one comes with this like Gore-Tex Gore rubber type material. You get the red stitching on there. They used to be painted or leather um, on the Saharas. Now they're uh, this Gore-Tex and the cloth material. Uh, power locks, power mirrors, 
those are the only two materials I've seen on the dash. Um, I have not seen any other ones yet. Of course, we've only had basically Sahara's and a couple sports, and then this one, and then these Rubicons. So I really haven't had a chance to see all the dashes yet, I'm thinking. Anyway, 7-inch LCD display, nothing's new there. Uh, the material on the steering wheel is new as well. It's a soft touch leather, yet it's a really firm leather, uh, but it's really smooth, really soft touch, so it's kind of cool. Cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, and audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. For 2024, the 12.3 Uconnect 5 radio is now the standard radio for the 2024 Wrangler. This goes across the board from the Sport all the way up to the 392. Same radio, same size, pretty much the same options. The only thing that you can get different is if you can get navigation on it or not. So this one does not have the navigation, uh, but like we saw on the window sticker, you get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So if you have Waze or Google Maps on your cell phone, project it right to the screen, and it's like you have nav right on the screen. So um, a, lot of th a lot of companies are going away from the factory navigation anyways. People just aren't subscribing for it. Uh, they're just using their phones anyways. So you do get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, Bluetooth, USB, AUX, and USB 2 uh, for sources. And you get your home screen where you can have a different... Uh, screens set up here and like you can edit it change those you can also um, add different shortcuts and different widgets there so that's all really cool stuff you have your comfort with your uh, heating and cooling and climate controls you get your dual climate controls on there heated seats heated steering wheel controls then you get all your different apps on here I'll show you the off-road pages because those are pretty cool you get the pitch and roll latitude longitude altitude the accessory gauges um, with all your coolant temp, oil temp, oil pressure, trans temp, battery voltage. And then you get the uh, steering angle, sway bar if it's connected, axle locker in the front and rear if those are locked or unlocked, and then the transfer case if it's locked or unlocked as well. So a lot of cool stuff you can do with this radio. Here are all the apps. I'm not going to go through any of them very thoroughly. However, if you ever want me to do that, just let me know what you want me to go over and I can go over anything on these radios. Pretty well versed on all this stuff. The other thing for 2024 on the Wrangler is they've changed the dash layout a little bit to accommodate for this 12.3 inch uh, touchscreen radio. They also made this gloss black here. So if you're the driver, it kind of looks like you just have one big screen right all the way across, which is pretty cool. But they had to change the air vents to where they are because they were on the side here. They were the circle vents on the side. Now they're the ones below. And uh, that's just because the radio is wider. Also, they had to change this upper area. There used to be one big kind of coin tray holder up here. Now there's this metal partition. That's nothing. That I thought maybe it was a speaker, but it's just a plastic piece. And then you get two little kind of coin holder areas. Everything from here, though, down is the same. You get push button start, climate controls, start stop, speed select control, two U or a USB, USB C, AUX jack, window controls, 12 volt power point. This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon front and rear or just rear only locking axle, sway bar plus mode, or I'm sorry, sway bar disconnect and off road plus mode, and then four auxiliary upfit switches. Eight speed automatic transmission, four by four shifter on the floor. Keyless entry with a remote start. You also get that flipper key on there, which is pretty neat. Um, nice chunky key fob. I've always liked those since they came out with them. You can get a good look at that dash with that rubberized material on there. There's another look at the side crate and airbags in front. And the front hardtop pieces come off exactly the same as they always have. Assistant SOS buttons up there. And um, that's a non-auto dimming mirror. You get home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. You can see that you get the gorilla in the windshield with the Corning Gorilla Glass. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on all the lights um, on the Wrangler. And then I'm going to turn off all the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they are.
And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And uh, hopefully from this video, you got a really good idea of the overall options and information on the 35 inch tire and wheel group. All right, I'm gonna pause it and turn off all the lights and you can see just how nice these LED lights are. All right, so you can see all the lights in the front are LEDs. Even the ones in the fenders are the LED lights. And the reason I do this is just to illustrate how nice these lights are over the normal halogen lights. So maybe if you're looking at a 2023 Rubicon, it might not have the LED light group because it was an option in 2023 and in 2024 it is standard. So maybe something to consider if you're looking at a 2023, because you can see just how nice and bright those lights are. And what I should really do is get one with the halogen lights and put them side by side so you can see the difference in the picture studio here. But uh, LED tail lamps as well. That is also standard on the Rubicon. And you can see they really look good. They're very, you can always tell when you're behind a Wrangler or when a Wrangler is coming up on you. And you also get the LED lights and the license plate lights there. Anyways, uh, something to consider if you're looking at a 2023 compared to a 2024, you may wanna go with the 2024 um, just for the LED lighting group. Although Wranglers are pretty easy to customize um, with the headlights and everything, so they're pretty interchangeable. So anyways, let me know what you think of the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Really appreciate it, all those likes and subscribes. Um, all the views. Let me know what you would like to see, what you don't want to see, uh, so I can make my videos better for all the viewers out there. And thank you so much for checking out the video. If you want to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, and Wranglers, you can go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, and I know you do, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Almost 9,000 videos in total and almost 500 Wrangler videos in total on that channel. So definitely go check us out. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos that I've done in the upper right a link to how to take your hard top off of your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to how to take your doors off your JL Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon in Sarge green clear coat. What do you think of that color? I think it's awesome. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video, and have a great day.